Peerage Patrons, it's me, Ashton, your librarian yogi, and today we're going to be doing a yoga sequence that you can do at your desk. A lot of us are still working from home, or we've slowly started going back to the office, so take a quick break and stretch your back, do some yoga. Um, so let's begin. So there are actually two ways that you can do this yoga sequence, um, but regardless, you're going to need to remove your shoes. If you're uncomfortable completely removing your shoes at the office, at least get down to socks. Um, just because it gets you in that yoga state of mind, um, I'm just going to talk around in front of you. If sitting in a chair is comfortable for you, there's actually some studies that show that human spines weren't made to sit in chairs like this. Um, just move forward to the edge. You can see I'm sitting at the very edge and I have my legs about hip width apart. If you don't like sitting in a chair, if it hurts you, like me, I am going to sit as far back into my chair and if I can, cross my legs. I'm just going to sit here. Get a little comfy, hopefully not spin. Okay. <laughs> We're going to sit up super straight. Roll both shoulders up and back. Align head over heart and heart over pelvis. And just breathe. Notice if you're holding any tension in your body, perhaps in your neck, because a lot of us sit at our desks and do this all day. So if you're holding tension there, like I said, just relax. Try to send breath to that area, whatever that means to you. But breathe into that discomfort and exhale any pain that you've got. We're going to take three deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, almost like you're sighing, out through the mouth. Great job. One more time. We're going to reach up tall. Exhale. We're going to take our left hand to our right knee and stretch that arm behind you. Feel that gentle twist in your spine. It is kind of hard to get your arm around a chair. I'm actually going to readjust. If you need to, just hold the back of the chair. Perhaps you have an arm. And if you're not twisted all the way back, that's completely fine. Just go wherever feels comfortable. We're not trying to be uncomfortable today. We're just trying to kind of bring some energy to our body. Um, but just kind of stretch and twist. Take three deep breaths. And just like we were doing before, exhale through the mouth. If you want to, take that chin and look over your right shoulder for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Great job. Inhale those arms back up, reach towards the office ceiling. Exhale to the other side. The point of this pose isn't to stretch as far as you can, it's that rotation in the spine. Um, it's very good for your posture. Two more breaths, guys. You got it. Great job. Exhale, release. Get a sip of whatever you've got sitting at your desk. I have sun tea that I made yesterday in a honey jar that I washed out. But this thing can come off. Great job. Now we're going to stretch our wrists. So thriller arms, come out, make little claws, stretch out in front of you. I'm going to turn this way so you guys can come see what I'm doing. And slowly just start rotating your wrists. Wake them up. We use our hands and our wrists a lot in work nowadays. So just show them some love. Make sure that you are keeping that head over heart and heart over pelvis in line. We're going to take our left hand over our right. Just gently pull that back. We're not trying to crunch, you know, and go as far as we can. 
You just feel that bend in your arm, in your hand, whatever this is called. Your arms may start burning, but that's good. You're sending energy there. You're stretching them. You're waking them up. Exhale, flip it over. Bring it in. Great job. Left palm. And flip. Uh, relax those arms, bring them back down on your knees, roll those shoulders up and back. Great job. I'm going to return to center here. Our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give our shoulders some love. They've been hunched. So we will inhale our arms up. Exhale, take that right arm over to the left. And again, if you need to keep a nice gentle bend in your arm, do so. But hold that wrist. Just gently pull that shoulder over, invite some yin to the yang that you've been sitting in all day in this position. Get it to stretch over a bit. Be sure to keep your hand nice and active here. You can have blades or spirit fingers or whatever that feels comfortable to you. Inhale, those arms back up. Take it to the other side. Great job. One more inhale up. Exhale those palms to chest. You want to stop where your hands are making a right angle um, at your wrist. And just push as hard as you can. One more time. Great job. We've got one more pose that involves standing up. You don't want to stand up in the office if that embarrasses you. And great job, you're done with this pose. Otherwise, hold on, I have to readjust my camera angle. Alright, I am standing now. Um, you can't see my feet, but I've got my feet about hip foot apart. And remember that yogi toe stance between this is my hand or my foot? Um, you want to keep your weight distributed on the ball of your big toe, the ball of your pinky toe, and your heel. That's called yogi three part standing. If you lift those toes, you should still be able to stand completely. No, no weight on toes. They're just going to be fine. Um, but roll those shoulders up and back again. We're just going to dive right on in. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, grab that left wrist. You can't see mine. Just lean over. You're not distributing any of the weight um, more or less in one side of the foot. We're just feeling that stretch in the left side of our body, our ribs separating. Be sure to keep some integrity in your spine. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, over. Great job. Inhale, those arms up. And back down. Check it out. Great job, friends. I hope you're feeling better at your work from home or work back in the office. Um, like this if you are on Facebook, share it with your friends, or if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button that should be down here somewhere, I don't know. Um, and we miss you guys, stay safe, wash your hands, bye.